Barbecue and meatloaf are staples of Southern menus. So today we're gonna to take these two things and put them together. Today we're going to make smoked barbecued meatloaf. For today's recipe, you're gonna need one and a quarter pounds of hamburger meat, one and a quarter pounds of ground pork, two cups of panko breadcrumbs, one cup of onion chopped, one egg, one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon granulated garlic, one teaspoon dried tarragon. Please do not skip this ingredient. One teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, and your favorite barbecue sauce. Now you can also make this recipe with ground bison or ground turkey if you would prefer that over pork. Today we're going to use ground pork. I have my ingredients ready to go. I have my beef, my pork, my breadcrumbs, my egg. I have my onion ready to chop and my spices. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's chop these onions up first. I'm going to need to cut these pretty fine, but I want a cup of onions when I'm done. So let's go ahead and just slice these up. Once you've done your first cut, you can always turn your knife blade and just slice back through your pile of onions and that will make these much finer. My onions are all minced, so I'm gonna go ahead and start crumbling my hamburger meat just into a large bowl. I wanna make sure that I kinda of break it apart. I am gonna squish this really well, but I do want it to be in small pieces. And the same thing with my pork. Now this pork is really kind of sticky, so it's going to kind of be in big clumps, but that's okay. I do want to break it apart to make it easier to mix, but I am going to squish this really well. Now that we've got that in there, we're ready to go ahead and add in our onions. Just make sure you get them all in there. And then we're going to go ahead and add our W sauce. Our garlic, our tarragon, please don't skip this. Lots of people don't cook with tarragon. It's fantastic and you can definitely taste it if it's missing. Then we have salt and pepper and we're going to put in our egg. Now you can put this in a mixer if you want. I find the best way to get it all mixed up is just to do it by hand. Okay, this is nicely mixed and I have really gloopy hands, but it is time to add in the panko breadcrumbs. Now this seems like a lot of breadcrumbs, but these really do add to the texture. So two cups of panko breadcrumbs, and again, you're just gonna mix it by hand. Just make sure that you get it evenly distributed through. When you get this mixed through, you're going to go ahead and just take your meat and you want to divide it in half. We're going to be making two meatloaves today and you want to try to make these as close to the same size as you can. About six inch loaves would be great. I want them very similar in size because we're going to be smoking these today and I want the cook times to be the same for both. So I'm just going to pat these into loaves. I've got my loaves patted out. Now we're smoking these today, but you can do this in the oven. Just add about a quarter of a teaspoon of liquid smoke to your meat mixture before you pat everything out. Now this is barbecue, so we're going to add the barbecue sauce. Now I'm using my favorite, which happens to be a sugar-free sauce, but I just want to take this and cover it all over the top surface of my meatloaf. Whatever flavor you like, go ahead and put it on there and make sure that you put a generous coating. We have a nice coating of barbecue sauce, so these meatloaves are ready to go in the smoker. Now my husband and I are tag team cooking today. He's going to be doing the smoking for me out on our pellet grill and we're actually cooking several things at one time. Now these meat loaves need to cook at about 350 degrees for about 50 minutes to an hour on the smoker. That's going to allow them to receive some of that wonderful smoke flavor but also allow me get, to get to that internal temperature of 155 degrees. Now one of my husband's favorite little gadgets is actually probes that he can stick into the meat and it will send him temperature ratings to his phone so that he can check it. You can also check these just by going out and sticking in a probe thermometer. 
Once these reach 155 degrees on the inside, you want to take them out and let them rest a few minutes before you cut them and be ready to serve. I did also mention that you could cook these in the oven. You're going to do the same process, but you're going to put them in a 350 degree oven for an hour. And again, at the end of that hour, you want to take your probe and check for temperature. Now this recipe is fantastic, served just as regular meatloaf with your favorite side dishes, but it also makes a fantastic meatloaf sandwich with a little bit of crusty bread and melted cheese on top. Another great thing about this recipe is that it freezes well. You can freeze this and take it out later and it will be just as delicious as when it came off the grill. I've mentioned before that our oldest son is on a keto diet and this is a very simple recipe to change over. You would simply replace the panko breadcrumbs with a quarter cup of almond flour and a half a cup of ground pork rinds and this will not make a significant change to the texture or taste. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. If you would like them to continue, be sure to like, comment, and share. Thanks guys!